Hello everybody, this is Els, Elizabeth Craft Designs, on a beautiful uh, Wednesday in sunny Colorado. I left the house with a little bit of snow and I thought, oh, uh, you know, that's not good. But uh, the sun came out and it's absolutely gorgeous here. So uh, we skipped the Monday, so uh, because I wasn't creating craft on Monday. And, um, and we had an exciting day on Monday as well with the retreat. So... Uh, you're always so excited, so we have a few spots left, but it is absolutely fantastic. So it's, uh, yeah, so very much looking forward to that. People are excited and, um, yeah, all fun things, I have to say. I, I was in my studio almost all weekend to prep for Korean Craft because the samples didn't arrive from the design team. But then they came between the first and the second hour, so I was able to show everything on the second hour. So if you watched... You've seen the new collection and um, an update on that. So uh, stamps are on the way uh, to the Netherlands already. Go to ship tomorrow if everything works out. Should be there always on time uh, when they say they ship. So uh, ship tomorrow uh, to the US. And then we hope for a release date on Tuesday, the 31st. Two stores. So the 31st, two stores. That's what we're aiming for. Unless we get a huge snowstorm in the air, whatever. But uh, that's what we're aiming for. But we keep you updated, of course. So because we didn't have a live on Monday, uh, we didn't choose a winner. And the winner is Donna of the $50 gift certificate, Donna Mabis Shirley. Donna Mabis Shirley. Uh, so congratulations. And of course, like, comment and share for a chance to win a $50 gift certificate for upcoming Monday. So uh, what am I going to do? We released the, uh, the hand-drawn stamps uh, and dies yesterday to the consumers. And, uh, of course, available through your uh, favorite stores as well. So support those. And um, and the uh, uh, Bell Rose paper pack. So what I'm going to do today, I'm actually going to work with old stuff. So kind of trying to do that. So, um, But the Bell Rose paper pack, don't forget that because it's absolutely fabulous. Flying away. And uh, going to do some stencils. Going to show you a few samples that I made uh, on the Create a Craft Show uh, with the hand-drawn stamps and uh, yeah so let's turn the camera around and let's get started so you see my table there let's see if i find myself here that i can see the comments that the sound is off is the sound off it is so that's all good uh hi uh Ruli, linda focaline ivonne angela hi everybody daniel jean hi everybody and of course like comment and share and um to win a chance to make a chance for the $50 gift certificate. Hello from sunny South Florida. Hi Anita. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun, that's for sure. You see, Anita, I, I did pick out some flowers. Well, reusing. These are actually from Karen, Karen Gerber. Credits to her. But I thought that kind of goes with this color scheme really nice. So um, yeah, so I uh played a little bit this morning, and I have to tell you, so that whole pink planner thing, I'm going to show it to you. Because I'm not letting go of it. It's not pink anymore. The one I started yesterday because I did not like that at all. So uh, last night I did something that I think I'm going the good direction. So uh, I'm going the good direction. So this is the front. So there's no pink anymore. That did not work. But this will go really well with the Bell Rose paper pack. I have foil here. So if I have time I might show it today. Otherwise I show it uh, you know, next week somewhere. Because uh, on Friday David is live. David is doing the live. And on Monday, I think it's going to be um, Esther. So, uh, but it's going somewhere. It's going somewhere. <laughs> but it's, uh, yeah, it, it's, uh, it's a process. It's a process. But, you know, I like those things. I just keep, you know, you can add paint again. That's all fine. Hi, Yvonne from uh, Puerto Rico. Nice to see you here. And Dineke uh, from, uh, and Lenine, Jesse. Uh, hi, everybody. Nice to see you here. So uh, what are we going to do? Like, share, and comments. Thank you, Sandy. So I, uh, when I was, and this is actually from Italy. When I was in Italy, I brought, uh, bought a, uh, and I think it's a, I don't know if it's, well, I don't know what it is because I don't speak Italian. But it's uh, something drama, I guess. You see? Like an old book. Um, and we were only traveling with hand luggage. And then I was going around with books. I even had like a huge book for Esther, I think. Rip pink, yeah, rip the pink pen of family, yeah. <laughs> you know, it just, I love, absolutely love that Bell Rose paper pack. But somehow that pink planner did not come together. But this one, I think it's going to be great. Yeah. 
Yeah, Belinda, I will share it. I will share it. And if I don't, uh, you know, if I think maybe maybe I even jump on the live uh, when I'm home uh, tomorrow or something, jump on the live and show you. But I will announce it then. You still see a little bit of that stencil I did. So that's going to be there again. Definitely going to be with the glitter and the paste. And uh, yeah. You like the pink yoga? I did. No, it was not. No, I, I did not. Yeah. Did not work. It did not work for me. And you know, you all have your, because I loved the uh, I loved the paper, but with the planner it didn't it didn't work. I hope you will try pink planner again, Femke. <laughs> maybe you know, maybe I uh, do a layer of pink. You never know. <laughs> but um, so what did I do here? So I did. Well, this is go. Oh, this is actually is this the front? No, that's not the front. But look at oh, uh, I had another book, I think, and that's the poetry. Look at that. That's a brilliant piece of paper. That needs to go in a planner or a sidekick because that will be the size of a sidekick page, I think. Yeah, you see this all goes so well together. You see that will fit really nice in there. So that's a, sa that's a saving thing. Uh, and then that Art Deco stuff going on there, that is just super cool. So, and then I have this, look at that, like really brown. It's this from a dictionary, it looks, yeah. Yeah, really cool. So what did I do? I took some pages. I'm going to put this away on the side so I can uh, grab that later. Oh, let me show you these because I don't know if you saw all the samples. You know, I'm going to show you the... Uh, the release quickly as well for the people that missed that but I'm going to go over it uh, quickly so cream and sugar dyes and stamps the english countryside dyes and stamps the english countryside 2 dyes and stamps the lord's light dyes and stamps and then the uh the hello darling uh stamps and uh dyes love the collection and um, so, and here are some samples that I created, I think during Create and Craft, some of those. I love the use of all the frames. So just with the bees, so that's a small slimline card. And then I uh, made a little uh, tag there from what's from the Planner Essentials. I made a little pocket, so that's all going to be on cards or in my planner or journal. Another little uh, like tag. Then I have this one. It also has a tag in there, so I thought that makes a nice card. And again, those frames. This one I know I showed you already. I think this one I finished as well. This one you saw, that's from David. This one you saw, that's from... Oh, I have a lot of bees in here. I just grabbed the stack. There's a lot of bees on there. Um, the, the use of the frames. Love this. So this is the from the um, collection. Oh, I glued it. Did I glue it? Oh, I glued it down because we took pictures probably. <laughs> that's what we do, don't we? And now I tear it. Uh, so uh, what I liked um, about this uh, idea from uh, oh, the lady that made me the... Uh, that you put that little pocket in there. But you can also take these and stick those in there and, and uh, write on there. Great idea. This one I made. This one you saw already. And I don't know if I created that one during Creating Craft. I think I did. But that's, that's just a glance of uh, the collection. If you look... Uh, if you check out earlier... Um, earlier uh, lives you can see all the samples okay so first what i did oh i tried shrink foil i need to show you that and um i have a, a love hate relationship with shrink foil um sometimes it works just great and sometimes i think no not hi joseph nice to see you here as well guess the team were buzzing the bees yeah exactly <laughs> so uh, i tried shrink foil works perfect i didn't make a hole in this because i think if i uh, I need to see. I think I can use uh, watercolors on shrink foil and it will dry eventually. I don't know for sure because this is what I used here is the Sizzix one. I used this one because I had that laying around here. Shrink plastic. The transparent one. But um, I need to figure it out. But um, yeah. Very warm. Oh, you're still in California, Joseph. I thought you were uh, coming back already. Yeah. Yeah, the frames are fantastic. Hello, Helene. Nice to see you here as well. So, uh, shrink foil. Yeah. So, I'm going to try that more. I did bring this little stamp thing from um, Sizzix. And I have this. And then I have that mat that goes with it. A grey mat. But then... Like, so, the first one I tried this morning. Because with these mats... You know, that's the same as with the other mat. Dirt attached. I, you can't see it, but there's hairs. There's dust. And I cleaned it this morning. And when this is not clean... And I put my shrink foil on there. Then you have all that stuff on your shrink foil because you heat it. So I just, yeah. So I did use that stampy thing. But I did not use the rest this time. 
Maybe another time, maybe another time, but it works well. Hi, uh, Marianne and Bloemetje, hi. So, um, yeah, so love this, but you can see this can go in your journal or in your planner or on a card. And I will uh, make some as well with holes in it. That might be a project, although I said this afternoon, I will stay at the office and clean up here, but that's a mission. Hi, Els, nice to see you here as well from sunny Canada. Yeah. Uh, yeah, those tools are probably great, but I have to laugh because it looks like something you're going to catch bugs with. Yeah, oh, this one, yeah. <laughs> you know? Here we actually have an electric one, so sometimes you hear brrrr, and then, yeah, yeah, not nice for the, yeah. Yeah, but it's just, you know, and I, I saved it in a drawer, so it should have been clean. So what I did, I'll sh maybe I'll show you that as well later. Later. Okay, so what I'm going to do, for oh, vellum, I stamped on vellum. Look at that, that's absolutely gorgeous. So that is nice, love that. Here I did white, didn't like that that much. And um, I stamped too hard, and when you stamp too hard you lose the detail. Here I did a black ink, and here as well, doesn't dry, or not, so I used this one. Didn't dry, so my hands were full of ink. Uh, so that did not dry, but then I put clear embossing powder over it, and now it is uh, great. So you see here, you see the eye better, so that, that's better. So stamping and then, you know, yeah, the vellum, you know, I, I did use this one. I think if you use stays on, you're fine, of course. I did not have the stays on at home. I have it here. I will try that. Uh, I actually have the stays on here, so I will try that. And then, um, then I stamped on the old book. So I'm going to die cut this. This is beautiful, of course. Yeah, I must use stays on if you don't emboss on, on vellum. That makes sense. I will take one home because I actually have a lot because I use that a lot in... Uh, Classes. So this one I love. I did not use the die because this one I stamped. What did I do first? Oh, I stamped uh, em embossed in gold first. And then I uh, embossed in powder and then I stamped over it with the black. Because that's what I did with this one as well. And this one you see it less. But that actually turned out really nice. But here I had more black and then that black didn't dry on the golds. So I uh, did clear embossing powder over that one. So now it's clear embossing powder over the gold and over the black. But this piece is beautiful. So I'm going to uh, etch that. I did not die cut it. It could actually, because uh, you see it's, it will not die cut nicely because I, I have it offset a little bit. So I think I should get the die. Maybe it, it works out really nice, but no, I don't need to do that. I cut out the center by hand in this case. So I love this. So you see a little edge here of the black. But uh, that, this looks really stylish, I have to say. Here I made a tag already. So um, with, the, um, with the paper from the book. And here the dish on vellum. And this was actually, I got this out of the trash. Uh, this is baking paper that burned. <laughs> I think when you made this granola. Or oh, it didn't burn. It didn't burn. And, uh, but it's fragile. So I thought, okay, if I want to die cut this, or just use this piece as is, you just need to make sure it glues down because it, it will break, you see? But it's cool. Yeah. I finally have some very fine clear ink. Yes, the pink too, of course, but we love it. Yeah. Does that? No, you know, Jean, I think that's going around. I think Esther always is using stays on. Uh, honestly, uh, yeah, does anybody. Uh, does anybody have uh, problems with stays on ruining in the stamps? I don't think so. Let me try it. I'm going to do it on the vellum now, actually. Let me do that with the stays on. No, I think, it, I, and I don't think, knowing Esther, I don't think if she's here, but um, knowing Esther, I don't think she will clear her stamps all the time. So, uh, no, yeah, real parchment paper. Yeah, parchment paper. And then in the oven. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, bin diving. Oh, yeah, <laughs> bin diving, yeah. <laughs> Trash, yeah, yeah. So let me try. And what I do, you know, you should basically, because it will always lift it up, eh? you should stick it out with tape. But then tape, I need to, you know, it, on that mat, it doesn't stick. So I basically make sure it's in the corner. But then you will see when I do this, it will kind of, because the stays on sticks a little bit, I should use, let's see if I have tape that actually sticks to the mat. Oh, I can stick it to here, wait. I can do this probably. Yeah. 
because it needs to stay in place because otherwise it is let me find which one am i going to do uh, let's do the teapot and the teacup because i did not do that yet but stays i think stays on you need to refill so much uh so let's see because they dry out i did i don't know when i what i did with stays on when i was teaching classes and some things i just need to remember that i think oh what did i do what did i do with that so just re-ink a little bit because this was really dried out so i really need to ink it up again it probably stays on because it's alcohol based uh, a little bit will it evaporate it smells really nice eh? like a mandel uh amandala how do you call it a mandel smell like nuts smells like nuts Oh, this is the Misty. This is the Misty, and uh, credit for credit goes, Misty was the first one that came out with the stamping platform. And, um, yeah, so Misty. You see, so it will still lift it up. You see, that's what stays on. It's sticky, so I basically can rather stick this down you know i'm just going to take this off because and that's where the stay is sticky so uh, you need to keep it in place and that's why that frame actually went the wrong way but it came out really nice so I just if you lay it down in the corner again there's probably tricks uh, if michelle is here she will uh that the old misty there is a new one like new color is there a new color probably or not i don't think she changed the concept did she there's a bigger one, a smaller one, I think. Whatever, yeah. Heb je geen plak achtergrond? No, I don't. Is there a plak achtergrond? You see? That's why I'm not. Uh, is there a. Uh, uh, is there a uh, sticky background? You see, I need to see. Oh, it's still. Yeah, well, the teapot's good. So let this dry. I need to do the. Yeah, no, you know, I cannot do. I need to do the cup again. Teapot's good now. But the cup not yet. So I'm going to take the teapot off. And I will clean this with. Uh, yeah, it's re yeah. Call the line. <laughs> <I'm gonna miss. laughs> oh, Monday, Wednesday and Friday at uh, 12 uh, noon. Mountain Standard Time. Oh, Tim Holt has sticky backgrounds. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, it's the oh, I do have that. I do have sticky. Uh, Oh, I left it at home, but I do have, uh, oh, one of those, yeah, I actually have that at home. And then it just stay in place, but yeah. True, true, because it's really depending on the ink, because if you use the, if I use the, uh, um, which one, this one, the first one, Claire, it stems perfectly right away. Yeah, yeah. Sticky grid helps heel goed, okay. Send, somebody sent me a link to the sticky grid, I have no idea. I cannot follow everything. I'm central time. Are you an hour behind me? Central time. Is that an hour behind us? Uh, central time. I think so, isn't it? Here you go. Yeah. So, okay. So if we start at 12, it will be one for you. One o'clock. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Marianne. Okay, so that's that. Put that back. You see, so, and this will dry. This will dry. So I'm going to test that as well. But I like, I, I was just going to say to you, but just put a sheet of, uh, of that stuff in the, uh, in the oven and let it burn like that. I think that will be good. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how I made the tag first, and then I'm going to play with the tags. So I'm going to make a smaller one. Where are my tags? Oh, here they are. Because I have a piece left and I took a, like a thin piece of paper because this is too thin. So I took a thin piece of uh, cardstock and then I put a double-sided adhesive on top. And now my paper goes on here and then I'm going to die cut it. Uh, 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 uh. What page do I have? Not so much text on there. Quattro. Quarto. Okay. I'd love to know what it says, but I have no clue. No clue. It's actually a really nice color as well, eh? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's both nice. It's both nice. 
It's so nice. Yeah, so old books. Yeah. Yeah. I know. All those but you know it's a huge country as well, of course. It's so big. Like Canada and the US that you have those time zones. You see it now I'm putting this on here. Just going to trim that side off because otherwise it's going to stick to my uh, mat. And, uh, you see I'm going a little bit in the paper because then it's easy to cut. Or you put your release sheet back on, but I'm not going to use this small uh, piece anymore. A sticky grid. Oh, okay. I will check it out. I will check it out. So I do a smaller one. Oh, oh perfect fits. Perfect fits. And with old paper... I make sure because uh, that I don't um, that I don't put my tape on here because it will rip the paper. Any any tape you use almost I think will rip the paper. So that's why I use it on the sides. So I put it here. You see and not. And I had another thing that I wanted. Oh why did I wait? Oh this one. Don't you like this one? Oh like that. So. Uh, Okay, so this one, that's also very old paper. And I don't know where they made the paper of in the early days. But um, when I stamped on this one and heat embossed the gold, and you there is no, uh, there's no uh, uh, dimension. Because it probably just sinks in the paper more. Because that's, it's different than the paper from these days. So this is exactly the same. But here I feel dimension, here not at all. That's why I actually stamped over that black. And then that came out really pretty. But... Um, so it just sinks in the paper because it's different, different, made from different things, probably. Probably. So I'm going to die with this one. And then I want to stencil something. You see, I, I don't know if you can see it, but it actually picks up the paper a little bit. And it's always with the old paper. Almost always I have that problem. Okay, that's that. And then I'm going to work on those. And the tags, of course, are, uh, well, no number, because I don't know the number, but it's from Josette's uh, release. You see, so now I have those two ta uh, tags that I can uh, make into cards. It's just me, or does it sh is shine less on the older paper? There's no, there's hardly any shine on old paper. Yeah, no, there's no shine on it. And if you, because sometimes I see books, my, my father-in-law had a lot of old books and I have some of those. But um, when you use the old, uh, sometimes old books look old on the outside and it does have um, new kind of uh, more new paper in it. So it's more shiny. But um, in this case, it's, and I don't know, does it say in, I don't know, it doesn't say a year how old this is. No. I know, you know, I actually gave uh, some of this to the design team as well. Because I had it when I was in uh, at uh, at the event in uh, the Netherlands from Duwerding, and I know I tore this one apart and gave the journaling ladies uh, and the planner ladies some. Okay, so what am I going to do? I want to do some stenciling, and I want to add the. Of course, I'm going to add the sides. Let me get my ink for that. I don't have my other one here, so I'm going to use the vintage photo in this case. Hi, Katrina. So just edge this. But yeah, my pink planner. I really like a challenge, yeah, so it's going to be good. But my goodies, <laughs> it has some layers. Yeah. Oh, whoever has the other, yeah. You know, yeah. It doesn't say here. But it was just, it was like on the street. It was in, when we were in Naples, first stop. In Naples, and it was just a stand with. Uh, I did bring an old stamp as well. Hi, Diane, nice to see you here. Diane is coming to uh, Banff as well. Summer is coming to Banff. I don't know if Summer is here. Do we have more ladies here that are coming to Banff? Uh, Joseph and Harden are coming to Banff. Yeah. Yeah, it will be so cool. Can't wait. Can't wait. So just edge that and I'm also going to edge it with gold, but I can do that later. 
Uh, and I will do some stenciling as well. And I'm going to make my own stencil paste. And I'm not going to show any other brands. But um, I, you know, I had two here that I opened. And they were both stone hard. Stone hard. So if I use this a lot and I just mix it with, I think you can even mix pigment into there, whatever. Then you just keep, this one might get hard at the end. But because I don't use those paste enough, they dry out for me. So, uh, and this one I use a lot and it doesn't dry out then. So I'm going to mix my uh, glitter in there and then do some stenciling. Let me see, let me see. And then I'm going to, uh, 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 I am going to use one from Esther's in here. Uh, oh, Waldo, yes, you're coming. I know, Waldo, as soon as you saw your purple hair, I know it was you. <laughs> oh, I like this one. I know it was you. Yeah. Yeah, I like that one. Kind of uneven. They're all cool, of course. Don't stick with that one. Oh, I have tea here. Let me take a sip. Is that your big, the one I showed, the pink one? No, that's not the biggest one. The biggest one is the, yeah, oh, this one. Yeah, this is the biggest one. And then the, so that's the planner. That's a blank canvas with a napkin. And this is the sidekick. Yeah. Via Dalma. Oh, was it? Yeah, Via Dalma. Where, the, where we went? Yeah, when we had the tour, Joop. When we had the tour, we, uh, we got it. And then, of course, crazy because, yeah, we were traveling with hand luggage. And then I started to take books. Hi, Annette. Nice to see you here as well. Yeah. What does it say? Yeah. My paste always dry out before I can use it. Oh, yeah, I know. Yeah. Love the old book pages. How will they stand up in a journal? Oh, that's what... So, uh, I would probably um, put two together. So, use the... Um, so, sometimes they, they, they will hold up very well. But sometimes it's... Uh, and it's also not not... It's not bad if it cracks a little bit, but this one is too small. So if I would use those in a planner or in a well planner page, I can just stick them on. I would not use them. I would not use them as is because that's too fragile. But if I stick it to a piece of a paper or I just stick two together, then I'm fine. You see now, I, and because then there will be tape in the middle. So then I will be fine. But then I would probably put the tape. I will show you in a second. I will. I would not put the tape uh, all the way to the ends because I like the these edges. But yeah, I will. Um, oh yeah, some old books. You know, go in. You know, go into thrift stores because a lot of times they uh, they might have something. But my uh, in this case, honestly, my um, an Esther's Etsy shop might have some. Uh, I don't know if she has books. She more makes uh, sets or something. But uh, and what am I using here? Light brown. The light brown. You see, and with this one, if I just keep... And this is such a nice paste. And then you can... If, if you think it's too shiny, you can over it with gold paste a little bit. I think I did it in one of my uh, journals. But, you know, this just works fine. And it's beautiful. It's a microfine glitter, so it's super fine. Try charity shops, yeah. It's just there's a lady here that found a humongous hole of uh, railway stuff in um, in Alabama. So I need to drag you more into stores. But honestly, sometimes stores just charge you like a, a, a ridiculous amount of stuff. I know I was with you in a store. You will know. You will know where we had coffee. We had coffee on the just around the corner or something. It was oh when we uh, just before uh, Yellowstone. I think you. And there was a store there, and she had an old postage cabinet with all that stuff in there from the from the old postage. She wasn't uh, she wasn't even um, she wasn't even selling it because. But it was so cool. But you know, those are lucky finds. Those are just lucky finds. But you know, you can have a lucky find. And I have to say, my my father-in-law had really old books, so I had some, I have some of those. Of course, I don't want it everywhere, so I'm just going here. Maybe, no, I don't want to go there. Here a little bit. 
and you see already that I have way too much again. See, but that is just cool, cool, cool. And this will dry very nicely. I will put it to the side. But um, yeah, what I will do, I will just take a page. I'm not going to use the same one on this one. Although why not? Just a tiny, yeah, tiny border here. Yeah, that's nice. Tiny border. Because I might not use them in the same spot. And then I will use the rest on a page. But you see how I always make too much. So don't make too much. But honestly, with the silk microfine glitter, so just a little bit of random uh, here. Yeah, so when I'm going to clean up, I'm actually going through all my paste here and just uh, see if they're still good. Okay, now another stencil, throwing this in my water. And another stencil, I'm just going to use that on a page. Oh, you know, I've got to use my favorite, and I can, uh, one of my favorites, the flower. It's just a really nice one, like that. And I'm just going to take a page and stick it on there. I think that's too brown for this one. This Oh, no, I'm going to use that in a different way. La, 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 la. Oh, here, look at that. That's going to be cool. Just checking, have you gotten the info email about the retreat? I registered and paid and now I'm in, but what about the email after that? Susanna, uh, Daniela, who organizes everything, is traveling today, but you are fine. I think we sent it already, the, but I don't know for sure. But it's, it's coming or you have it already. But uh, check your spam. But um, if you're in, you're in. If you are in, you're in. Why do I have? Do, 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 do. I think my spatula has. Um, wait, I need to clean it. It has stuff on there. Wait, wait, wait. Just seconds. I have loads of old books. I'm addicted to going. Oh, to thrift store. <laughs> Oh, yeah. On vellum. Oh, let me try. I do that right away as well then. It will be good. <laughs> Else is signing that always have a good sign. What have I missed? Is no, no, the retreat is not sold out. We have a few spots left, David. But uh, it's getting there for sure. See, I just... It looks like it's not gripping on the whole paper. Yeah, it's good. Look at that. Pretty. Okay, let's use the, the leftover on vellum. I know I have a piece of vellum here that nothing on there yet. Okay, let's try that. I just do the same one. I don't have enough paste anymore, but um, you will get the idea. No, 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 it needs to be good. Wait, I make a tiny bit extra. Tiny bit extra. Then I have enough for this one. And I don't know if it will wobble a bit, uh, but we'll see. But I think if we don't blow, like don't uh, dry it with a heat, heat gun, we will be totally fine. Oh, super sharp, super sharp. Okay, that's that. That can go. And then uh, you see, so I will just le le leave this to dry and I will show it. At the end, nice, 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 nice. And the leftover, you can just take a page and or a piece of paper and just uh, rub it over there, and it will be nice as well. And then you can, if you use that page later, you can just do edges or you see like that, you know. No waste, make it not straight. Just use your finger like that, and then you have a nice edge on a page that you can use later. What am I making? David, why do you need to ask that? <laughs> I 
I'm not, I'm not making anything. I'm just playing David now. <laughs> uh, that can go in there as well. This goes back. I am going to make, David, tags. Uh-oh, I put the vellum on the tags. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I'm making tags, David. So I am starting this, and this is drying, but I need to uh, dry this now, because otherwise the, it will still be wet. But uh, I'm making tags, and I stamped uh, the stamps on old book paper, like this. You see, I have a really great frame here. So, uh, playing. I showed my... Uh, oh, this is cool, David. You need to use a parchment paper. I put it in the oven. And that's uh, and then it it uh, it burns a little bit. It's super fragile, but if you stick it down, it sticks down, eh? So. Oh, by the time I get passport. Oh, you know, yeah. Do you know for sure you you get your passport? Then you should sign up. Oh, okay, Penny. Yeah. I don't know how long that takes in the U.S. If you're coming from the U.S., I don't know where you're coming from, of course. Yeah, Cleidera, exactly. <laughs> Cleader is a Dutch word for making a mess. Loved your uh, page this morning, Natalie, from the, in the, from the planner. And I told David, I told that you were doing the live on uh, Friday. Thank you, Petra. I love your work as well. Okay. Oh, and I tried this, David. Also super cool for Inner Journal. I'm going to do more, but I talked about my love-hate relationship with shrink foil. But that will be cool in a journal. Zijn de tickets al geweest? No, the tickets, no, no, no. I didn't bring tickets here because the, the release will be next week. If we know for sure it's going to be Tuesday, then for sure um, Esther will work on it on Monday. Because I'm pretty sure, yeah, Esther will do the Monday. So uh, she can use uh, all the... Um oh, you, know, you don't have a clue. You know, that's what I like, David. That's what we... Oh, this... The, oh, look at that. How nice this shines, actually. Look at that. It's actually super cool. That's already dry. So if you take your... Oh, yeah, that is cool. This looks super cool. Oh, tea bags. I'm also in the process of gathering tea bags again. So that goes on always because that's just cool. And I might just slide it over. I'm going to take my a piece of a uh, release sheet to put under there because I make a mess. But you need a passport. Is, but you need a passport to sign in. What about... If, Okay, no, I don't think you need a passport to sign in. No, no. We just remind you, probably, that you need a passport if you're coming from a different country than Canada. But you don't need a passport to sign in. For sure. I know that for a fact. I know that for a fact. Okay, which stuff did I bring? I did um, bring this one. So I need to be careful with that. Oh, and I did find a sponge. I did bring that. I was in the art store. That was actually disappointing. They di didn't have a lot of stuff that I needed. But they did have sponges. So I'm just going to add a little bit of that stuff here. Oh, fragile, fragile. Um, yeah, no, you don't need a passport to sign in. So if you want to come and you have till October to get your passport. Although, try to get it earlier. Because I know uh, from living in a different country, I need to go to a consulate to get a passport. That you don't want to uh, wait too long. Which reminds me again that I need to go to the eye. Uh, I need to get my eyes checked because my driver's license is expiring in March. And I forget that the whole time. Okay. So that will dry. And I think I'm just going to fold it around, around the corner. Cool, eh? Tea bags. Cool, cool, cool. So I'm just going to add a little bit of that stuff here and just fold it over. So super thin, super cool, tea bags, tea bags. And of course, stamping on tea bags. I did that as well. It's actually for this line is super cool as well. Okay, whoops. I think that's cool. That will dry. Uh, for a second, what else do I have to put on the other ones? Do I put tea back on here as well? I just think it's so... Da -da 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 -da. This is a lighter tea, so depending on which tea you uh, use, uh, it's different. 
Oh, and I did uh, grab some lace as well. You see, this is a lighter tea, so it's a different tea. Just going to put that there. Thank you, Marjolein. <laughs> trying, trying. Yeah, so uh, for if you saw the uh, yeah the shows on Queen of Craft, it's super cool. Uh, but it all works so... I love how it all works together. Because I love using the uh, the dies from Estro's file folder dies to make cards with these stamps and dies. And then this is a perfect line for in your journal as well. I'm just a happy camper. I am just a happy camper. Just dab that down. And if it doesn't stick completely, probably Rayanna will agree that it doesn't need to stick down completely. So this can... So that's nice. You see, that's different. So depending if you have berry tea or the whole uh, the whole thing, then uh, you have a different color of uh, tea bags. Then, of course, we can color tea bags as well. I showed you that. Eh? Did I show you that already? But you can color tea bags. So what I want to now, uh, I want to have some um, um, stuff on the side. I'm going to throw my sponge in the water as well. And um, I want to have some uh, embossing uh, ink on the sides. Which one did I have? I have gold. Do I should just show gold? And I have, I found this one. Didn't even open it yet. It is a uh, platinum. Is platinum a little brownish? Let me see. That looks like a cool color. You see, never used it. But that doesn't dry out, so that's good. That is good. And oh, we need a bee on here as well. I have that, those really nice bee, bees here. Oh, 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 nice. Nice. That's one I know. Uh, that one I did myself. This is one from uh, Anita. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. I again did not. Oh, okay. I see it down. I said only 15 minutes. My goodies. I I can never finish anything because I'm just. Oh, probably talk to. Oh, we should do some splattering as well. We should have some white splatters on there. Where is my emboss it uh, thing? Oh, here. Got that. I know the texts are great. And this one, so if I die cut this one, for instance, I can uh, put it on here. And I know, I, I think can do coloring on that for sure. But this needs some uh, edging. I just like that look. So let's see what the platinum is. No idea. I don't, we don't talk so much. <laughs> no, you hardly talk. You hardly talk, David. That's good. Oh, I need to be careful because that will still be wet. And, um, yeah, that will be, uh, that will be uh, for the classes, we need to have, uh, so if our class is three hours, David, we need to say it's taking four because we talk so much for Banff. I think that's a good idea that I just proposed. <laughs> three hour class, one hour talking. And you need to sing, eh, David? I don't know how we organize that, but you're singing in band for sure. I think we we uh, we told that we told that in a newsletter. No, <laughs> no, we didn't. But I think you should. Otherwise, you just give you an extra drink and then you will sing. Oh, this is cool with this color. What did I? So the light brown, and you know. The paper smells when you heat it. It smells like old paper now, which is super cool. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Going to do the same with the other one. And I know what I'm going to do then. Um, yeah, nice. This looks nice. So this is a great combination. Uh, the... The light brown glitter, 647, with the platinum, never used before, <laughs> embossing powder. Being in the US, you can order regular Los Angeles Magics. I know crafts in Los Angeles. You know, I don't know Los... You know, in the city, big city, we don't do the big buck stores. So, um, yeah, so there's stores, of course, in the US that sell online, and they just... Uh, 
they just ship anywhere so you can do that for sure here we go oops when did i put my embossing powder i think on this side or my uh, yeah okay so let me you know what i did this morning i used uh white embossing powder first and then gold at home and i didn't clean out my coffee filter yet so um i was annoyed threw it out right away because you know a jar like this takes you forever and i thought okay am i going to mix this uh, and just try to use that and i thought no 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 because uh that uh you know i'm never going to use it so i wasted some embossing powder but it just it happens no he pays you to for david singh <laughs> he pays you to listen <laughs> <laughs> no, it was super cool. Uh, David really can sing. And I think it was online as well. But uh, yeah, it was lots of fun. He really can sing. I know by now that he actually has a career, had a career in the musicals as well. I think if I'm correct, uh, he worked with Jos Brink. If I, if I lie, I lie because I, I'm wrong. But uh, yeah, everybody in the Netherlands knows Jos Brink. But uh, yeah. So we have a real artist as a designer. Hello, but we knew that already because oh no, you don't know yet because uh, you don't have haven't seen his designs yet. But okay, so that now this one. If I'm going to die with this, one, oh, this is quite thick paper, so I'm good with that one. And uh, but if it would be too thin, and I'm going to show you that as well. But I'm going to die with this one. Love it. So this is another great hour of playtime. Just join and miss the beginning. Will it be available on YouTube? Yeah, it will be on YouTube as well. Yeah. I missed the retreat video of David singing. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, it was good. It was good. We had loads of fun. So, uh, yeah. Looking forward to Banff. It will be uh, great fun. Great fun. And Annette is, uh, you know, Annette is really funny as well. She's really funny. So we really have a fun group there. <laughs> and everybody will be happy because you all have a great time. So, yeah. It will be very special. So again, stay away from the paper. And I'm going to dike at this, run it through. Do, 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 do. I should save that. I should save that. Okay. Am I going to use that frame now? I don't think. Oh, that actually works. Looks really nice. This needs to go on the big one. Yeah. Okay. So what I'm doing, I'm going to. Yup. So else I assume you're coming to Banff as well. Yes. Yes. I will be there. I will be there. <laughs> Yup is actually leaving me alone in February to go to Banff. Wait his response. <laughs> No, I actually choose to stay home this time. But you must go to Banff in February. No else, other else. I miss something. I miss some oh this is so pretty. Goes this way. So pretty. If I take a picture, you need to check out, so try that. Try that stamping. Um, so I don't get to this one yet, but I will take a picture of this one well as well. But try that stamping with, uh, with gold and black over each other, or another color you want to use, of course. So this one I'm going to ink. Oh, else Schutze. Oh, else. Oh, no, I, I don't think else. Uh, did else subscribe? I don't think so. That would be fun. Then we can do a painter, and then we can do a... A painting uh, night with Elsa uh, husband because he's a painter. Did you check it out already? You should. I, I'm going to call him the uh, and I don't know. It's 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 meant as a compliment, Els, but I'm going to call him the Canadian Bob Ross because you need to listen to his voice. <laughs> if you hear his voice, he has a Bob Ross voice, and he does painting lessons uh, in the store as well. 
So if you ever get to Vancouver Island, make sure to check out Elle's her store and her husband's store because it's both their stores, of course. It's kind of for crafting. Oh yeah, you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I would, um, I'm going to etch it a little bit more, so I get a little bit more ink here. You see, I'm kind of doing the umbrella a little bit in that color. I'm not going to do the face, a little bit where the head is, maybe. Look at that. Is that pretty? Pretty, pretty. I love this. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, a little piece of tape. <laughs> oh, thank you. Uh, else, else, uh, you weren't here last time, I think, when I asked. What band did your uh, husband play in? And which, what song did I recognize right away? He played in a band in the Netherlands. Hello, hello, Joseph. He played in a band in the Netherlands in his uh, younger, a little bit younger days. And there was one song that I absolutely knew. So, uh, you know, what, which song... Uh, it's only for old people like me, eh? Older people, because when you're really young, you don't know. Hi, Marijke. Well, you can always watch back. I'm going to add this a little bit as well. So it matches the uh, other side. The knits. Okay, and what was the famous song? What was the famous song? There was one that I recognized right away. I know, David. Yeah, I know. So, oh... So, Els, you need to come, you need to bring your husband, and then David and your husband can sing together. How cool would that be? <laughs> I know, there you go. On the Dutch mountains. I, there we go. Okay, isn't that cool? We have all famous people here in our group. Okay, oh, am I going to cover that? Yeah, I, I, it will be covered. Yeah. On the Dutch mountains. That's how it went, eh? and then good. Yeah. I know. I know you all know. How cool is that? So if you check all, at, if you Google YouTube's for that song, you will see um, uh, you will see him. Uh, you will see Elsa husband in there. Oh, that's is it a waste to fold it over? Oh yeah. I wanna now. I'm going to trim it off. <laughs> Else you don't all vintage, yeah, that's, that's a good way to say it. And how beautiful is vintage? That's what you see here. Yeah, Dutch man, yeah, Els, you know, they all they all uh, said it right away. You're too late, Els. We knew already. <laughs> we knew already. How cool is that? But what a great idea. That would oh my goodness, we would have so much fun. Okay, can I say that this is really pretty? Is, am I allowed to say that I really like this? Am I going to add flowers to this one? No, it's too much. I just like the simple, clean. And Nessio is also good. Yeah, I think I know that one as well. Oh, I just watched the bass, uh, the bassist from the Nis. He plays an organ. Okay. Benny, are you the oldest one? <laughs> I know. A Scottish band. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so fun here. What a great group we have here. <laughs> Joseph, you're coming to the to the events in Banff and Harlan. So cool. So cool. And uh, Summer is coming as well. So I know uh, she, uh, because you were sitting next to each other at the uh, other events. Okay, am I going to... No, I want to stay in this color scheme. So I'm just going to add, no, not too high. How pretty is that? Love it. Love it, love it, love it. And that's not going to be, I stay in this t these tones. So what else do I have in these tones? So I can, no, I think it's going to stay this way because I just like it as is. I can add a little piece of this here. I think that might work. There's actually still tea in this one. 
Uh, it's, yeah, it is, it is, it's going to be fabulous, but you know, another one will come. So if you don't make it to this one, you can make it to the next one maybe, or I don't know where the next one will be. We were suggesting uh, Italy yesterday and uh, because uh, <laughs> places that your Zet wants to go. <laughs> Do you think you will ever hold an event in the UK? Uh, I think we should. I think we should. Uh, when? I don't know. If it will be something. Um, yeah, we, we were talking because uh, Josette wants to go to Italy, so uh, she can uh, find a place there. <laughs> so we were kind of joking around. Uh, she doesn't mind uh, searching in Italy. <laughs> oh, Vancouver Island. Else, that would be so cool. Vancouver Island is absolutely gorgeous. Okay, here. Love that. And I think that I, I think I'm going to leave it like that. I don't think I'm going to do anything to that. What I want to show, because it's almost time is also this one I will just work on later. But how cool is this? Love it, love it, love it. You see, so now you cover that glitter, but you can still see. I probably do the edge again with um, the embossing powder because I'm hiding that now. But um, that needs to come back, I think. But I'll do that in a second as well. Love it, love it, love it. But I want to stay with the black, but this would be cool on here as well, you see. And I think if you want to die cut this, because it is very, you see, it, it breaks. What I will do, I will show you what I would do. I will show you. Um, oh, I can actually, you know, I can put it on paper. But of course, it would also be cool to just take an old page. One of those book pages. And stick it on there. It will shine through a little bit. And then you can use it as is. Oh, I don't know. Let me see. Let me see. So um, I think I'm not going to use tape in this case. I think I'm going to use this stuff. Uh, kind of as a glue. A uh, sponge, which I threw in water. I know I have a spongy brush somewhere. Oh, this is fine as well. I'll show David your red pen. <laughs> David, it's a, it's a, it's a work in progress. Uh, there was all kind of things on there already, but this now is kind of a pink foil and then I painted over it again. So I still need to do this side. So I will show that. I actually had a tea bag here as well. And you can see the, di I can see the difference here, but you know, it's, it's not done. It needs to, uh, yeah. Yeah. So if I do some of this here, then you just glue it on and then it's not fragile anymore, of course. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to glue it all because the whole piece will be fun. And I didn't try yet, but you, you can you, uh, we need to uh, try tonight a piece of uh, baking paper and just parchment paper and just put it in the oven and see uh, if it just discolors. Uh oh, you see, oh, it's thin, fast. You need to act fast. I'm just going to do it this way. It doesn't matter because then I can use it any way I want. There you go. Is this glue actually? Not this stick. This is not glue. Still set it. <laughs> is this glue? Oh, it will. Oh, it will stick together. Yeah, of course it does because I use it for napkins as well. Okay. You thi I think now you just have a nice piece for your journal already. Doesn't matter. You see it breaks here, which is great, of course. And I can, oh, I just threw my uh, brush in the, because this is mad. <laughs> I don't burn the house down. I would burn the house down, but you won't. <laughs> okay, so that. A sponge would be nice for the, look how cool is that? So does parchment stick? Does it stick? Does it stick? Yeah, it does. Yeah. I was wondering because it's kind of. And now I just have a super cool piece of paper that I can use again. Just love that. Love that. You see, how cool is that? And this, oh, let me show you the, what I'm going to do with this one. Let me uh, stamp on that one with, uh, with the black. Then you see how cool that is. Um, maybe I should have done it earlier. I have no idea, but I'm just going to do it. 
Where is my butterfly? It's this one. Oh, and I should splatter some paint as well. I will do that later. I will splatter some paint. Maybe uh, mask her off. But uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. I thought you were sticking toes down. Oh, t <laughs> you know, it's actually it's one o'clock, so it's kind of time. But of course, I forgot to take something. So, but I did grab a box of nuts. So there's not a lot of stores here. I can go to Walmart and get a banana. There's actually not a f normal store here. That, oh, this will be difficult to line up. But that will probably make it cool as well. No, it's not difficult to line it up. Okay. You see, thinking out loud, thinking out loud. So if I line this up here, and it's fine if it doesn't line up perfectly, actually. I try to line it, that it's kind of a little bit in line. Nope, about that. But if it's offset a little bit, that's fine. Okay. Oh, it sticks already, oh, because that whole thing is still wet, of course. Okay, just stick it here. And I'm going to do that with that uh, ink, Verify Clear. And then you will see today, oh, oh really? Oh, I'm using here, it's it's uh, it's an acrylic medium, matte, me matte medium. Is it officially a glue? I bought it together with Annette, Annette says you need this. Uh, reduce gloss, extend color. Lowers viscosity, increase transparency. Okay, lots going on there. Yeah. It's good stuff. Good stuff. I, if you have Mod Podge, I, you might be able to use that as well. I have no idea. Honestly, honestly. So, this one. So, I'm using it very fine clear here. So, this will not dry. Definitely on the parchment paper. So, then. Oh, did I bring. I know I. Wait. Wait for it. I know I did bring that. Yeah. Clear. Clear embossing powder. I need that. Because this will not dry. <laughs> and it will not grip completely on the... Do we have that thing here? I do have that thing here. Hoppa. I got it from Scraps of Love. If you're ever in Arizona, visit that store. And... Uh, it's a great store. Okay. Okay. So now you see, and I hope you can see it. You can definitely see it when I do a picture. So I see black on that gold. It just makes it so really stylish. And now I'm going to put embossing powder on there. Well, whatever. I put it aside. Don't need to clean it now. Then I'm going to the. That's always. I always say, oh, I stay longer to clean up. But it already cost me time to clean up my mess here. <laughs> so I'm going to take clear embossing powder. Super fine detail clear. I'm going to throw that over. And now let's see what happens, of course. Oh, this glue might not be completely dry. But that's fine. You see? And then put this back. Because otherwise I might use another color and mix it up. As I did with the other one. Okay, that's... And then I'm going to emboss this. And that's how my... Um, what time is it? I can see it. Oh, I'm two minutes over time. So it'll just stick to the gold as well. Because that black is there on there. But you hardly see it. But So it's kind of... Oh, the, oh, it's, it's bubbling a bit. It's gorgeous. Why is this bubbling on this? It must have to do with the parchment paper. Da, 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 da. Oh, a little bit here. Because I didn't do that. Um, must have to do with the old paper part. I don't know. It's getting more solid. So I used too much ink probably. But it's absolutely gorgeous. So if you look at this, and you cannot see it. But I see black here. I see black there. But you see, because it's old paper, I need to flatten it out. I need to flatten it out. It came out better on the frame. And I offset it more. So I might like that better. You see? This one I offset more. I like that look better. Yeah. But this is now a... You know, this will be so nice in my journal. I, and when you die cut it, it's going to be flat, eh? But I would not die cut just a butterfly. But you see, this is kind of breaking off the edges that I didn't glue down. That's perfect. Love that look. Okay, and here you have um, on the old paper. You see, that's almost dry. 
and the parchment did bubble a little bit. You see, uh, when you make parchment paper wet, it does bubble a bit. So that's not my favorite. Stumptuous. What does that mean? What does the word stumptuous mean? Uh, stumptuous. What does the word stumptuous mean? <laughs> stumptuous. Laura, I don't know what it means. Ah. Uh, what blends? Oh, thank you. That's nice. Okay, so that that you see, and I have all that fun stuff to play with. I love that feather on the book page. Uh, yeah, love it, love it, love it. And um, oh, I want to show you one thing. So if you want to die cut uh, or use this as a planner page. I would not, because I love the uh, the edges, so I will not... Oh, I have two pages. Oh, no, it's one page. Let me show you that quickly. So for this one, for instance, I would probably take... Uh, 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 do I have... Well, I would probably take this one. Yeah, this one. Let me unpack it. So I would use the four inch. So depending on what you're doing... A new roll. Take that. And I would not let it go all the way to the edge. Because I like those edges and they don't need to stick together. So, um, there you go. Take that. I would, I would go close to the edge on one side. But not all the way down. Because that's where your holes will be for the page. But I would take my double sided adhesive. Don't go all the way to the top. So just leave that. One side you will go all the way. And then I need to cut it here. Oh, I have it not. I have it on crooked. But because I don't want to go all the way to the bottom. So about here. And if you lay it down, or you can measure it first. But uh, in this case, I just do this. Because it doesn't need to be completely straight. That's also fine. You see, like this. And then you take this off. You save this because you can make stencils for glitter with that. And then you take your second page and you stick it on there. And then you die cut your page for your, uh, for your journal. Because now it's a little bit thicker. It also has the tape in between which is uh, heavier so makes it thicker. So it's still a thin page but now it's sturdy enough. Yeah. When you said I want to show you one thing. Oh, <laughs> sneak. You know, you saw the sneak, didn't you? You saw all the things on Queen and Crest. I didn't. I, I have it here. But, um, oh, yeah. It's, you know, let me show. Because I made these on, uh, so I made this on Queen and Craft. So that's a little sneaky of the new collection. But uh, I think Esther will work with it on, um, on Monday for sure. It's going to be a fabulous collection again. Oh, yeah. Look at that. How cool does that match? Needs to go on there. Or on the tag. That is so cool. Because those hearts are kind of fluttering. I'm going to put it on now. I'm going to put it on now. Because that looks amazing together. Okay. So uh, that's it for today. I want to thank you all for watching. I will take a picture. I will also take a picture of other things. And show you this one. Uh, kind of blended a little bit much in. Uh, but this one is perfect with the black. So I'll take a picture and show you that. And then uh, let's turn the camera around, Anya. Then I will say goodbye. I want to thank you all for watching. Uh, Friday, David will be here. Monday, Esther will be here. And I probably do the Wednesday again. So Friday, next Friday, I don't know yet. But uh, we hope for the new collection uh, released to stores on the 31st. We're aiming for that if everything is in stock. So, uh, dyes are here already. We're waiting for the stamps. So, thank you all for watching and have a wonderful rest of your week.